Which blonde girl are you gonna throw at me next? This Barbie is dumb because <laughs> it's, it's alienating. alienating. It's not humanizing, it's alienating. Get out of here! <laughs> and shut up! I'm fucking watching Dora! These movies are nonsense. If I were a girl like you, You wanna be B A R B A E. You said A. Oh my god. <laughs> What's okay. going on? <laughs> be who you wanna be. B A R B A E. Barbie girl. Oh my goodness. Barbie dream house. Barbie. Barbie Malibu. Barbie. Mm. Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> Barbara. Barbie is the topic at hand. And let's be specific about Not it. Not Barbie 2023. No. Barbie. Barbie as. The as. Barbie, Barbie in, in. The. Barbie colon. Barbie of. The. And you know what we're talking about. If you know, you know. We're talking, we're talking about, about the Barbie animated movies that started coming out in, what was it, 2001? 2001. 2001. Or was it 2000? No, I think it's 2001. Let me pull up the Excel. The first one we're talking about is, or the first one of what we're talking about is Nutcracker. Well, we're not going to leap right into Nutcracker. We're not going to leap right into it, but this that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Those are the those are the genres we're talking about. When you would wake up on Christmas and your parents had gotten you the new Barbie VHS that had just come out. And we only go from 2001 to 2008 because that was kind of our prime time in ter in terms of when we were watching, watching Barbie it, stuff. Or, yeah. But there have been at least one, probably multiple Barbie animated films that come out a year since 2001. Like it has been over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I... It came out October 2nd, 2001. I just want to start by saying that Kelly Sheridan is my Barbie. Kelly Sheridan is my Barbie. Kelly Sheridan is Barbie. Like, to me, when you say Barbie, I think the voice of Kelly Sheridan, that Barbie, that animatronic that they had the VFX to make dance like ballerinas because they could track human movement. And, That's right. And what they chose to do was make, make a Barbie bunch of ballet movie. movies. Yeah with Barbie as the main character. Honestly, like she looks like a doll. She Whoever she like really wants like that doll. to happen, go off. <laughs> like they were like this is what we need to do. Go on ahead then. So the first thing I did want to say was that Kelly Sheridan is my Barbie. Like she is Barbie to me. She also plays Barbie in my scene, which, which is, we which we'll get to in the future, which is Mattel, but it's not Barbie. There's even an though extensive there's extensive history to a this my all. scene named Barbie that's not it's not the same. It's not the same Barbie. This is Barbie in her own life. Sorry you're confused, but it, they're not the same person. No, and honestly, while I could sit here and make a theory about maybe this is Barbie from Barbie Diaries who moved somewhere, I don't even want to think that. I don't like think that. that. I don't like the I don't like the idea of thinking that Barbie is the Barbie in my scene. They are completely They're two complete, different people. They act different too. Like I won't say anything about which one is better. Right I'll just now, say that they're but also they're not the same. And there's no consistency on on how Barbie acts. No, even in the Barbie ones though. <laughs> and speaking of the second thing I wanted to say up top was that we watched all of the movies we're about to discuss. Okay, from 2001 to 2008. In the last month, it has been hands down one of the worst experiences of my life. This has been one of the craziest things we've done. It has been torturous. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I if, if going in, I knew the quality of these movies, if I remembered the quality of all these movies going in, I would have said no. The lack not doing of this. plot in all these movies, the lack of plot, the, the way that nothing happens in these movies. But. <laughs> <laughs> the way that not a single thing happens in any of these movies, except, except for, for a few, our two favorites. Yes, and we'll get into that. But but we intended to watch every last one, even the most current one, maybe that like, dropped in 2016. I don't know when the last one dropped, but we couldn't. We did not. No, we didn't even intend that. We, we dropped intended, out. We intended to go through 2013. We oh, intended right. to stop in 2013, and I said we couldn't do I it. I can't even do this. I we we have even skipped Mariposa and just watched Christmas Carol and stopped because we were like we never saw Mariposa. They're saying the word Mariposa. 
Um, it's apparently Barbie playing Mariposa, but it's not Kelly it's Sheridan. Not, it's and it's not, not Barbie. It's not. And it's not Barbie playing what's Mariposa. Her name? It's actually not Mar- Barbie playing Mariposa. Alina, it's something what's her name? quite confusing because. Alina. The girl. It's not Alina. It's not it's Alina. A, it, it's, it's Mariposa. A whole, it's, co- it's a whole different character, but it's in the same universe as Fairytopia where Barbie is already playing Alina. So this can't be Barbie. This must be someone else. It is someone else because it's a different voice actress. And so we didn't even touch that because I, I'm telling you, I think I was having a harder time with an Amber. Like I literally was complaining, whining, moaning, I was groaning like, we can do it. Through the whole, through all the movies except for Princess and the Popper and Island Princess. What really gave it up for me where I was like, Amanda's right, is when we put on 12 Dancing Princesses and I fell asleep. I, I watched 10 <laughs> minutes and I was like, okay. Girls, like, <laughs> and, this, I'm so tired. and you know what? Both can be true. These movies can have tortured me to my very soul and Kelly Sheridan is my Barbie and when I think of Barbie, like, I don't think of the dolls. Like, Mm-mm. we didn't play with a lot of Barbie dolls. As soon as my scene came out, we said, no we more said, Barbie no dolls. We said, no more. Get us the my scene. Get us the my scene. Get us the my scene uh, dolls. Get us the my scene, Jamie the American. They're prettier. The they're more fashionable. Madness. They're more modern. Like, they have, they're more They came with CDs. They, they came have, with personalities. They, 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 I the love games them. The games, the webisodes. Give us my scene. The Forget movies. Barbie. Forget Barbie. The dolls, my scene dolls were ours. Like we didn't, we stopped playing with Barbies entirely. And it didn't even matter what Barbie was releasing at that point. We're going to do a my scene episode because honestly, they're more our culture than Barbie. But Barbie movies are our culture and we have to pay homage and they also laid the groundwork. Yes. So we cannot ignore it. And yes. So, and so I want to say when Barbie the movie came out, I was excited because I was like, yeah, like Princess and the Popper memes are coming back into style. Like, Island Princess is one of my favorite movies of all time. Like mm-hmm. literally, we watched it last night, and we'll get to it at the end. But like, oh, it's a bra- It's literally Broadway. It's so level good. Music. It's so but good. Okay, I was excited for the Barbie movie. However, like when I watched it, it was all about like the dolls that had come out since the fifties. It was like yeah, it was like more and more Barbie dolls from the fifties. It was for the original like, Barbie the, fans. It was for the original. It was like our mom's age fans, which is why I was like, oh, this is probably like the mom is the main character. Like I, she's right. the one that liked the Barbies. Saying to Amber, I was like, why don't I? Why doesn't this resonate with me? Like this type, this this Barbie and like this personality like doesn't resonate with me at all because I was like. Barbie what Barbie wasn't everything. She was not a doctor. She was not a lawyer. She was she not, was an actress she, and, in several different weird ass movies. And so then that's when Amber said she's an actress. The Barbie we know is Barbie as, the actress. Yeah, we would see like, her as Elena, as as Rapunzel, as uh, what's the girl name in Nutcracker? Mary was it? Uh, Elizabeth. Whatever. It Odette. Is. N- that's Swan Lake. But yes, what did you say? Uh, uh, Nutcracker. Mary. No, it was not Mary. Wasn't it Elizabeth? <laughs> Clara, it's Clara. Clara, <laughs> Mary. <laughs> I don't know. No, she was giving Mary. No, to me. no. Literally, I was like, "Where was the doctor? Where was the lawyer? She was never a doctor. She was always a fairy or like a swan or something." Right. And then Amber was like, "That's Barbie, the actress. Like that's Bar- like the, we got stereotypical the, Barbie, or I would I would call her original Barbie. I would not call her stereotypical Barbie, but that's on the movie. We got." She actress might, Barbie. I mean, she she is kind of stereotypical Barbie. She's like what you think of a Barbie looks like. Well, yeah, but she's also the original Barbie. I yeah, guess, she, and that's she, not fair for the the land of Barbies. They, you know, but she still, is, she is the original Barbie. But 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 my point is that like I never saw Barbie like look like Issa Rae as a president. You know, I was like no. I was like the the way that they were like she's everything. He's yeah. just Ken. I was like that's not what I grew like. Yeah. <laughs> I was like that's not the Barbie I grew up with. Right. I grew up with a Barbie who was sorry bland yes like simple like minded damsel in distress damsel in distress like the nicest person ever but like with nothing behind her eyes like really um naive naive kind of just like why is this girl so mean to me like Like, oh my goodness she's so upsetting like yeah why would you ever be such a bitch yeah when the barbie the movie press was it the like the campaign campaign. yeah the marketing campaign came out i was like that is how the dolls were and the reason i remember that's how the dolls were was because i was remembering eve's great no No matter matter where she goes dress her up from her head to her toes at the mall at the the mall mall, she loves high fashion after dark at the the ball she'll spend the whole night dancing 
is shine bright, shine star, don't be shy, be a star. But anyways, so that's like when I when I saw that campaign, I was like, oh, Eve was based off of Barbie. I was that's like, how, I wasn't thinking about Barbie. If Amber, I'm honest, my Amber, that's my exact thought process. Like I was like, look at that. I was like, black. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah. I vaguely remember Barbie being dressed as like. Everything. Everything. Yeah, like, she did have a doctor the, thing. She's in the Navy. And she's then a steth- you, steth- you, steth- you start to think about the, 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 the Barbie games. Like, she was a mother, right? but she was also a businesswoman. And she and did have a, a babysitter. whole plane, didn't she? She was a babysitter. Pilot. Yo, she had a cruise. Like, And then there was a version of her that was a celebrity. And right. that's the only one that I paid attention to. Right. Like, liter- like <laughs> literally. Yeah. Like, I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, I remember that. And then I was like, oh, that's the whole thing about Eve. Is like, she can literally. But I will say. That I think that Life Size made a satire out of that better than Barbie the movie in terms of like she's everything. Honestly, she just been there banging on the keys and eating butter. Yeah, I just are you Eve. talking about Eve? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, she's like just eating slots of butter. I like, feel like the Barbie. Doll. I feel like Barbie the movie took a lot from Life Size, mm-hmm. like in the plot and like this like naive little doll out in the real world. Like, I, I it's the same plot. Mm-hmm. I just think it parodied it better in life size or, or at least clearer to me because the she's everything he's just can might ring a little hollow for people our age because we grew up with the Barbie, the animated movies. And if you Where want, she isn't everything. If, if you want her say she's an actress. OK, like say the actress is very smart. All right. We'll make that up in our mind. But. The plot lines of these movies are like overwhelmingly just like bland. Barbie is bland. She's mediocre. She's a pretty blonde girl and she gets everything she wants because she's so much kinder than the people she around the her. She has the kindest heart in the she world. She has the kindest heart in the world. And who are the people around her? Men. The biggest bitches in the world. Like biggest bitches in the world B- and then random bland men. Bland men that save her and narcissistic crazy villains and amanda was saying last night when we were wrapping up she said the villains who are completely human are the most interesting characters in the entire and she was talking about out of the villains but i'm gonna like say that they are the most interesting characters in the franchise because they had life behind their eyes and reasoning for things backstory Backstory, like yeah it was just kind of barbie being like i'm so nice why would anyone want to bring harm to me i have to help this person i'm gonna help them somehow everyone's gonna help me help them because i'm so kind literally in all of these movies all of them and half of them have a kelly frame story half of them don't for some reason but half of them and how they started was that kelly would be like upset about being being a brat about something like I don't want to go to the mall. I don't want to go to the family I don't wanna, dinner. I don't want to go to the Christmas party. I don't want to compete in the races party. tomorrow. I don't want to compete in the races tomorrow. I'm nervous. I don't love, I don't like Christmas. And then Barbie comes on. She's like, <laughs> Kelly, well, where do you think Christmas comes from, silly? Let me tell With you a, a two-hour long story. She's like, let's get out of the party. But I want to say something. I don't even want to rag on Kelly this hard because <clears throat> I'm about to Kelly like. Kelly was our self-insert. Character. Right. Well, yeah, but like, I don't even want to rag on Kelly's heart because what Kelly was feeling at the beginning of all these movies was an, an immense amount of anxiety, and I don't think people understand that children have anxiety. And she was having anxiety, and Barbie was throwing her weird ass stories that had nothing to do with anything. Like Kelly said, I don't want to participate in the community act that we are gonna do tomorrow. I'm scared. And Barbie said something about Swan Lake. <laughs> She said, "Well, have you heard of the Swan? Have you heard of the story of Swan? Like, and then, and then, and then the Christmas Carol party. Kelly was like, I want to do my traditions where I'm happy. I don't want to go to this big party. And she said, well, and then gave her a Christmas carol. Like, she wasn't being that bratty. She was just like, I don't want to go out to this party because I want to stay home in my pajamas and do our traditions. And Barbie said, well, you're going to end up like Scrooge. Yeah, literally, you're going to end up like Scrooge, miserable for the rest of your life. Like, she just wanted to have some cookies. Because a child said that she hated Christmas. Yeah. Like, she hated Christmas in, like, but she wasn't being serious about it. Right. She was just like, I don't want to do the whatever plans you've changed up on. I grew up with a grudge against Kelly because because we wanted to be Kelly. No, well, also <gasps> we should have watched Kelly's Diamond um, Adventure. Or whatever. I love. That we should have watched that. I love that movie. It is but so I didn't. I didn't necessarily want to be Kelly. I feel like I wanted to be Barbie, and so therefore I saw Kelly as like extra, mm-hmm. and I was like, I don't care about Kelly, mm-hmm. and. She is kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. Like I, she I, is annoying. She's, I won't she's, say she's, she's not. She's, she's having. She's coming from whiny town. So, from real places. Yes, and <laughs> and 
and Barbie is giving her bullshit stories to, yes. to, 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 as an answer for her problem. Yes. It's, she's like moralizing her. Right. However, it's coming from Whiny Town. It's coming from Whiny Town. <laughs> and that's not on us or Kelly. That's on the creators. Literally, which are mostly men. I'm like, Barbie movies should never be directed by men. <laughs> okay. And also, we're not just going to rag on Barbie this whole time. No. Like, we're just talking about how we're looking at this as that's, adults right that's now. That's what I'm saying is like, I grew up with this movie, these movies. I have a, the Barbie animated movies have a special place in my heart. Yes. I genuinely love Princess and the Popper and Island Princess and but and even the imagery of the ones that didn't have a story like I was like I'm this is really like not a good plot but I'm happy to see this again because it's familiar to me I don't need to see it all the time but I was happy to see it when we right like it. like I I love the sparkles I love mermaids I love fairies I love princesses like I love pink and purple and blue but but at the same time upon rewatch of these movies Barbie is so passive mediocre blonde white girl mm -hmm. that it's kind of like triggering me because I'm like I idolized her mm -hmm. in the same way that I idolized other mediocre blonde white girls mm -hmm. and so that makes it so that the message of the Barbie movie it's like the glass rings a little bit hollow eyes. for me yeah which is why I understand why Sasha and her friends in the movie were like, "Yeah, fuck Barbie. Like, right. you don't represent anything. You're not. You're not powerful. Yeah. You do not represent feminism. Like, to me, what I grew up with, you're you're people just like you because you're thin and pretty and blonde. Mm -hmm. And I I kind of resonate with that because and that's what was going on in the movies. That's what was going on in the Barbie movies in the Barbie content. Like, it was the only Barbie content we were getting mm -hmm. as the last pr most recent generation. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like the she's everything and he's just Ken sentiment is just an updated version of like girl boss feminism, which mm -hmm. is like <laughs> girls are literally everything and men are stupid, which mm -hmm. is just gender essentialist again, which I don't feel like is productive. Like, mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's productive to be like, and <laughs> don't you love when like the girl is so hot and her boyfriend's the ugliest man you've ever seen? It's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> it's it. I, I just I'm like that's boring to me. That like okay, feminism. Yes. That's like yeah. Women are everything and men suck. It's like it's balance. Like, find it, balance. It's just find balance and nuance. But yes, find balance and nuance. But also I did and like very binary. I, I did like how that tagline people were using it to show how the movies we grew up with did have a lot of like female characters that should have been given more light than to whoever they were like the. That love interest for yeah like you have like I did like that part which is also like there's give and take in that and so I hear what you're saying yeah I I completely agree with you like I think the intention of it and in the movie itself like mm -hmm. regardless of the marketing campaign but in the movie itself that is what it was saying mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. women have to do like 50 times as much to be thought of as like special or good at something than men do mm -hmm. and when in reality most most of the reality is that women are very smart and they underplay their their smartness and men are sometimes pretty dumb and mm -hmm. overplay how smart they are i think that is what the satire was meant for and so like i think that was showed in the funny, movie yeah. but because the tagline was like that and a lot of the people that it could that be easily it, taken to be just white feminist no nuance and it has been because people people have memified it mm -hmm. i i think what I'm talking about is like the memes that I've seen since and like they'll do it with new movies. Well, I feel like now I have an I have an example. Like if they they sometimes they do it with Zendaya and Tom and I'm like yeah. now 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 Zendaya is amazing but so is Tom. Yeah, that's what I that's Please do not reduce Tom. Right, he's very talented he and is he's very talented. he's very successful. I am proud of him. Tom and Zendaya are a power couple and let's not think let's not take that away from them. Okay, that's a good point that I was not thinking of. I was thinking like it's kind of like the she's everything he's just Ken mindset mm -hmm. like the over of that mindset that can happen with Twitter and stuff has been just planted right onto like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Oh, and like, yeah. I feel like, I don't know, I'm just like, there's 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 too much binary jokes happening recently where it's like girl dinner, boy dinner, girl math, boy math. And it's like, if you do this, you're like a girl. If you do this, you're like a boy. And it's like, I know it's joking, but then it's but, like still oversimplifying gender and like mm. oversimplifying like the complexities of gender. And I know they're just jokes, but I'm like, can we get away from like trad wife like energy here it's it, you know? it's it yes can we they are jokes more? there are jokes and a lot of the people who are like really comfortable with their identity are able to make them as a joke but there might be like kids or any age actually 
kind of trying to figure out how they identify and they don't identify with just one. And so that can be something that, that it's like, how do I hop in on this one? And I feel like there's these memes are so popular that they're in the mainstream too. It's mm-hmm. not just like among queer people it's or or even people that are just online. It's like among like the general public, like yeah. the general population. And it's like very conservative people think it, even think it's funny and like join in on it. And I just feel like, I don't know if I'm like my, I'm communicating what I actually am feeling because I don't want to just be like, oh, the Barbie movie sucked because I don't think that. Mm-hmm. I just think that there is a a resurgence of binary gender being enforced through things that might seem like they're counterculture, but they really aren't. And like, I just don't think that it's saying essentially all women are smarter and better and all essentially all men are stupid is useful to combating patriarchy and the ways in which people socialized as girls and people socialized as boys are taught to be like and the values that they're taught to value i i I think that's a conversation but saying yeah women are just superior and better in every single way because they're women and men are only driven by sex and they're so stupid and they can't have thoughts for themselves and they are not emotionally intelligent is like wouldn't you rather believe in a world where men can be more emotionally intelligent and men it's like can we, be it's like being well you know my husband he just can't he just doesn't know where to put the toilet paper and he's useless it's like if you say that he's useless he's gonna act useless yeah. and he's not gonna be like hold him accountable to hold have him accountable some, have some goddamn hold sense men accountable too. don't be like yeah men are just trash so like they can't do anything hold them accountable it's, so it's they're kind of like it's kind of like boys will be boys coming yes. into a different nuance. Yes. Like, it's like no, 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 no. Let's stop them from being boys and let's help them a little bit. Yes. Like whatever, whatever derogatory thing you're applying to the word boys, let's bring it up a little That's bit. That's exactly what I mean. And I hear and what you you're said saying. It very short, but way no, no, shorter than I, I did. hear what you're saying. And I think that anybody who wants to understand what you were saying or wants to like learn or or like look at something in a different perspective will hear exactly what you're saying. It's also I said it like that in a short way, but it's also what you said in a short way earlier, before, like earlier today. You were like. Women can do anything, include suck. Mm-hmm. Like they can be bad too. They yeah. can be bad at what they do too. Like right. it's like don't put anyone so on a pedestal or anyone so at the bottom that there's not a possibility of growth. of growth and like balance between the two because then it's just pointless. You're still doing the separation or you're still doing the segregation of one or the other. Yeah just the other way and it's just the other extreme i saw a post that was like idolizing someone is just as dehumanizing as villainizing them that's right because if you can't see if you if you can't see someone that you idolize as is able to have is able to have a bad day and fuck up you are not giving them the amount of respect that they deserve no that's dehumanizing yes like it's like you're more than human nobody is more than human and nobody's less than human. Mm-hmm. We're all human. Yes. And we need to continue to humanize people. I feel like the nuances of she's everything, he's just Ken, like right off the bat didn't resonate with me because the Barbie that I saw growing up was so fucking useless. Mm-hmm. And that's the way she was written. And we idolized her anyway because she was like, pretty. even because and she was pretty. were around her. Because she was pretty and white and blonde, we idolized her. And Amber said in these movies, this is white blonde supremacy. Like, all because of the most important characters are, are white and blonde. And all the prettiest, most desirable characters are white and blonde. And then you have, like, a brunette friend and a redheaded friend. And I mean, And like, then a dark villain. And you, a villain with dark features. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the villains is very, like, anti-Semitic looking, mm-hmm. I'm gonna say. A lot of them are. Um, And so that also kind of brings me back to, like... It perpetuates some white feminism because, or whatever. I don't want to say it is white feminism. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to say that because of the next sentence I'm about to say. But like the movies that were kind of second wave feminism or whatever, where it was like it's showing a brunette girl going through it. Yeah, like it was a brunette like, girl with glasses. Yeah, going through it like in like all sh- all the potential she has. That really rose people up, like a certain demographic up who looked like that and it's like this isn't the end of 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 diversity this isn't the right that that isn't as far as we can go right it's like oh what's your type well you know what not I blonde like a girl with brunette hair and glasses actually yeah. i think that's pretty cute <laughs> I think and why? It's because you grew up in a generation of movies where they're actually humanizing them a little more. Right. You're seeing like, from their perspective in a different way. Like, actually, I think get it. I together. think brunettes are really cute. I don't know. Blondes just don't do it for me. I'm sorry. I just I think I think I think brunettes are hot. Yeah. And like even redheads with Ron Weasley. Like it's just like there was more representation. That's yeah. what's happening. Barbie. Literally, literally, like literally, Kelly's blonde. Like all the self insert characters, all the characters that you're supposed to relate to are blonde. Yeah. And then the most interesting characters are the villains from Part Princess and the Pop 
Hopper and Island Princess, like yes. literally. Like they have real backstories that they say. Mm-hmm. We don't know anything about Barbie. She's so passive. This leads into like true, true sexism, like true misogyny. Mm-hmm. I feel like bar- the Barbie that I grew up with just reinforced. She was an angel. She was amazing. We are supposed to idolize her. But, but why? We're, spo- we're supposed to idolize the qualities that she exhibits, which are passiveness yeah. and ease. Like, I'm I'm not difficult. Yeah. Like, I, I'm Oof. nice to everybody. And anyone that's mean to me is because of them, mm. not me. Mm. It's literally like mean by Taylor Swift, mm. like embodied, mm. is is Barbie. Yeah. Like, like, it's like, oh, what, little me? little old me and then whenever she's like trying to get with ken which like we can get into whether or not it's ken now let me talk about something actually no don't i'm wait okay just wait (laughs) (laughs) i'm gonna lose my train of thought okay go because i got shit to say about when when that man when when ken is like bar you're the most beautiful girl i've ever seen in my life like i'm in love with you she's always like me I have to I go. Just, I couldn't. I have to go. I'm not worth it. I have it. to leave. I'm not worth it. You can't give up your crown for me. Like the most like blonde, you can't give like a uh, uh, westernized, perfect like, looking woman. Passive like, and like oh, for me. Passive Girl, and the, make and it work. Make it work. Passive and the man will come and she doesn't ever like do anything. She literally doesn't have any agency. Everything happens to her. The plot moves forward never because of her. It's never, ever, mm-hmm. ever, ever, mm. ever because of anything. Oh. A character that Barbie has she played just, is sits doing. back and like she sits and she lets things someone happen comes to her. and helps someone yeah. comes and helps and and i feel like the the message of the barbie movies is be pretty blonde and white and thin and grace and everything gracious. that an american woman should be, be and thankful for what you be have thankful for what you have and gracious and the love of your life will come and everything good will happen to you because even if someone is the skankest ass stank bitch you've ever run into in your life Kill them with kindness, and they, in the end, will realize they were being mean to you all along. And that's just. And if they don't, then it's their fault. And you are kind and good, and you are blonde and good and kind. Yeah. No, it's like you can also speak up for yourself, and you can also take action. You can do things, you know. You can do things, you know. Which is the which is the part of the Barbie movie that I did resonate with. Like I was like, okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I I had to act. I honestly, when I sat down for it, I had to like retool my brain. To be like, okay, this is not the Barbie that I grew up with. Like, I genuinely had to be like, okay, so this is not the Barbie I grew up with. And I immediately was like, my mother needs to see this because this is the Barbie that she grew up with. Like, these are the Barbie dolls that she grew up with. And so she's, so the satire probably is hitting very hard for Mm -hmm, her because mm -hmm. that's like the Barbie canon that she has. Right. But the Barbie canon that I have is Is Barbie running around useless through Mm -hmm. a forest, snow, the beach, a bridge, a bridge, the cobble road, the cobble road like the sea like i'm sorry like that's the barbie that i know she's useless and pathetic but she's really pretty and but she's so pretty and kind so with all of that master review the general review of what we have learned have learned and thought about while watching this back as ourselves currently we are gonna just give us let's talk about a little checklist right of what what is in every barbie movie what, what makes a Barbie film? What makes a Barbie film? I feel like it's and what makes one better one better than the other. Right. We've said that it's it's Barbie who is passive and like literally doesn't move the plot forward. She's really pretty and she's really kind. Mm-hmm. Like she's always going to be kind. Yes. Watch these movies. She's never going to be mean. No. And that's why they didn't use Kelly Sheridan in Christmas Carol. She yeah. She's never going to be mean. They, she was not in Christmas Carol with where the main Barbie looking woman was Scrooge. And also now that you say it. The only time I've seen her be a little bit of a brat was in Magic of Pegasus. And those were some really high stakes for her. Bro, that was that. And okay, we'll get to it with Magic. That's, we'll, we'll get we'll to get, it with Magic. We'll get with it there. But, but that, that was, blew my mind. That blew my mind. And that is some. that is one of the reasons why Magic of Pegasus, while it's not one of the originals that I remembered very well, I will go ahead and say it was better than the others. It was better than the others. Some of I, the others. I felt the opposite but it might but I don't know what about that movie but I hated it I think it was the animals I think there were too many talking animals um, <laughs> many weird animals um, <laughs> okay and okay okay so it's Barbie being dumb as hell Kelly being miserable usually but not sometimes always sometimes she's not always in there there might just be a little girl um, and if Kelly is in the main plot she's with two other Kellys that are have different hair color yes and they're triplets and they're obsessed with whoever's the Ken character yes um, which brings us to Ken and sometimes there's a little boy and sometimes there's a little boy named Tommy. Yes. 
And then, which brings us to Ken. Who is not Ken. And I think this is another reason. And we're saying it's he's not, what Amber means is that he never looks like Ken. That is not Ken. What they have put, <laughs> what they have put in the box on the shelves that we grew up with, that who if if that's what Ken looks like, not a single one of her male counterparts in any of these movies is Ken. No. Not a single one. He, he not they, a single one looks like Ken because and they, they all look they different. all look they all they all look different from each and other. They look like boys named like Josh <laughs> or like Ben. That's like, not Ken. That's it's, Ben, it's, Josh, Nick, and, Aaron, and, and and Brody. Like he doesn't look like he doesn't look like Ken, and it's not Ken because he doesn't talk like how I think t- Ken would talk. He doesn't he doesn't look as blonde as I would think Ken would be. He he he's just he not, doesn't move about like he would be a Ken. They just like, all all these Kens. They're played by the same guy, and we don't know his name. Are they even? Most of them are played by the same and guy. And then some are played by the guy who, pl- who voices Hudson from my scene. Yes. But he's not Ken. He doesn't resemble him at all. And that's why when Barbie and Ken became a thing, I, I forgot about Ken. I always forgot about Ken. I forgot about Ken because when I watched these movies, it was Barbie. And I there was no Ken. There was I, a man that I, she had to fall in love with, but I it wasn't Ken. I think it's hilarious that this is the case because I just started talking. I just finished talking about how she's not, she's everything. He's just Ken. Did not resonate with me, but now I'm like... Well, maybe it did resonate with me because Ken was nowhere. And also when he was there, oh, I hate yeah. him. I don't like Ken. He's I don't, annoying. I don't like Ken. He's always he's chuckling he's, in a weird way. He's always just kind of like kind he's of holding his snarky, hand out. Like a little bit snarky. Or if he's not snarky, then he's too sincere. Yes. And, and like too obsessed with her right away because she's so pretty and kind and blonde. And he's just kind of like a wuss. And so it's like, yeah, I guess he, I mean, she's something. He's and always he's holding his hand no, out. And he's not anything. He's like, nothing. It's, it's like more like, she. yeah, she's something and he's there. There. Get out of here. If you're not going to do anything to help, yeah. get out of here. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I agree. And, so, so, and you know what? Now I take back my magic of Pegasus because that Ken, he was so air quotes, fucking. actually was useless. That, he was a, tossing around, acting like a brat. Put, being, it, put, it, put a pin in it until we get to magic of Pegasus. Okay. No, but there's a, there's just a couple more things okay, okay. that make a Barbie movie. Oh, right, right, right. So we've got Barbie being blonde and kind, Kelly being whiny, but and sometimes she's not there. And some and and half the time Barbie's telling Kelly a story. Yes. Odd animation. W- uh, of course, that goes without saying. Mm-hmm. Annoying, annoying, the most annoying ass baby animals I've ever seen in yes. my life. And, yes. and and annoying ass animal talking animals. Because something, and that's something strong to say because I love animals. I love uh, I love animated animals. I think they're adorable. Something about me is and that these are disturbing. Is that baby animals will always make me cry. Like Happy Feet, for example. Mm. Ba- that baby like being bullied <gasps> and then like almost like eaten by those Stop. big birds or something or whatever. I don't remember what happens because I've only seen it twice because ma- it makes me cry. sucks. I can't deal with baby animals being sad. No. So, so this is coming from a person who usually likes baby animals. Now, it's also coming from a person who usually hates talking animals. I, I I cannot stand talking pet animals. Mm-mm, like I. I had to I had to Actually, that's say it with with t- baby talking mm-hmm. pet animals because because it, it it freaks me out. Like Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Like live um, action talking pet animals. I can't like, do. I cannot do that. Or or but I can do like, the animated. I don't really pet even animals. like Bolt. Like I don't really even like like um the greatest journey ever. What is that called? Homecoming's end. Home the journey's bound. end. <laughs> Journey, a homeward bound, whatever that movie is called. That movie, it I just will never watch me. it again. It's so sad. I will never watch it's that so, again. It's so depressing and sad, but also, like, I, do, I just don't. Something about pet animals talking doesn't sit right with me. And I think it's because I had this epiphany while we were watching. Um, I feel like I know what you're about um, to say, a, but if not. A movie. One of the Barbie movies, but I, 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 I realize I can't stand when pet animals talk and have full lives because to me it's as if it's almost as if the creators and the audiences who are largely white are okay with sympathizing with a character who has full complex thought, full emotion, and like full opinions, and and they're being owned by somebody else. These pet animals, if they have that much complex emotion and thought and opinion as you think they do, you're okay with, with them being them. owned? Like, you're okay with human beings owning something that's capable of full emotion and thought, which just doesn't sit right with me 
when you put it that way, that's actually insane, and that's why like every like Pixar should stop animating. Things. And and I don't and and notice that I don't have a problem with like BoJack Horseman. The animals and the humans are yeah. equals. I don't have a problem with Shrek because Donkey is Zootopia. not Shrek's pet. Zootopia, everybody's animals. They're yeah. all e- they're they're well, all well. That's the whole point, and that's the, the whole point majority. that they're not equal. But like they're they're treated as yeah like, as humans he, equally like like humanized kind humanized. Of, but that's the whole point of the movie. So. But it, but it's like, but, but, it, but 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 that's that's a good point. But that's a good point. So I don't like that, it in Barbie movies when they're they, these pets have full emotions full lives they're like having their own and they're just owned, owned. Wait, that's a good point for literally <laughs> everything we've ever grown up with I'm thinking Toy Story I know that those are not real things but if you're giving them whole stories and out and outlooks and then you're just like they have still, feelings like owning them and they have desires and they have wants and needs and they're just owned yeah because they're like you by somebody they're, like 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 they're like we have to get Woody out of this box how am I supposed to take my dolls and 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 put them in a and keep them in a box and not feel something? I felt so bad for putting my stuffed animals in my closet on the shelf. when I didn't want to like I was going through that transition of like there's too many stuffed animals on my bed for me to sleep. I have to put them in the closet. I felt so bad for yeah, them. Yeah. I was for like, which oh ones? my God. They, what if like I don't even like putting like throwing my oppa around now. Mm-mm. Like I don't like throwing oppa around. Neither do I. I don't like throwing I like, my I wanna throw, otter. I want to treat it with respect. And I know that, that this is like now we're gets getting into ridiculous territory. <laughs> but, but it's true. It's but, kinda, it's rooted in truth. But if anything, the if, if nothing says we are talking about fandom through a black perspective, then I, I don't know. Yeah, what honestly, does. take like <laughs> take take care of folks, and you don't own anything or anybody, especially in Barbie movies. Yeah, and I, I'll point to examples when we're talking about certain. Movies, but I like, hear you. especially in Barbie movies, it freaks me out. It's it's like the pets and the animals sometimes are smarter than Barbie herself. Yeah, and she owns them. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, annoying ass talking animals. Anno- annoying, the most annoying, except disturbing. for Bibble. I don't mind a pity pool. <laughs> Bibble is the best part of Marytopia. Oh, Bibble baby. is the only animal that doesn't annoy me. Bibble is so precious bibble is a cute one um but also so is um the the cat that doesn't talk in island princess that we just yeah it night. was in one shot that was in one shot and like, was like smiling literally and in one shot and she was smiling and purring and i was like where'd she go where'd she i wanted her from? to come back the whole movie me too okay we and don't then know her name the last things are a purple magic ill animal sometimes that's optional and um, oh right a really, really famous person is the villain. Uh-huh. In the first few, mm-hmm. especially, like, it was like... Martin Short. Angelica Houston. Yeah. Like, what? That's a good one. Like, literally, okay, literally it was like, what, Tim Curry in Nutcracker, and then it was Angelica Houston in Rapunzel, mm-hmm. and, then and then it was, Martin, was Short. Martin Short in Princess and the Popper. Yeah. And what's his face? Um, Kelsey Grammer oh, in right. Swan Lake. Right. These people are really good actors. Yeah, well, it was Barbie. It was. It was Barbie. It was Barbie. It was Barbie. And then it turned into and it was fairy tales Barbie. and ballet. And then it was just kind of like, yeah, there's another Barbie movie. It came. It just started. It started. It was never in theaters, obviously, but it just started kind of being like you only knew if you went to the it was, Target DVD section frequently enough to see that there was a new Barbie. But movie it was on the Barbie. Show. It was like you don't have to market that there are Barbie movies because all the moms know who Barbie is. They yeah, played with her, right? So it's like, oh, Barbie's in movies. Let's watch it. Yeah, Ma- that's what Ma- literally mommy did. She yeah. was like, Barbie's in a movie. Let's watch it. Yeah. Last thing, Barbie is the first word of every title, every single fucking time. It's like Barbie, Barbie in, in the, the Nutcracker. Barbie, Barbie as up. the Swan. Lake. Barbie of Swan Lake. Barbie actually. of Swan Lake. Barbie, Barbie as Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Barbie as the Island Princess. Barbie, Barbie as dot, Princess and the Popper. Barbie in Fairytopia. Barbie in Fairytopia. Or maybe Barbie colon. Fairytopia? No, I think it's Barbie in Fairytopia. But it's there always is a Barbie something, colon something. something. It's like Barbie of. Barbie Barbie, Barbie, in, Barbie. Barbie as. It's always Barbie preposition. And so with that. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. The Nutcracker came out in 2001. Yeah. They literally said, Barbie and the Nutcracker. We need to make the first Barbie movie ever ballet. Yeah. And make it the scariest ballet. Yeah. This movie was scary. It was terrifying. The Rat King King is scary. The Rat King is fucking crazy. The Nutcracker is scary. The Nutcracker is so, so, so disturbing. And also, like, I cannot emphasize how annoying the nutcracker is the nutcracker Actually, I'm is sorry. so annoying I'm sorry. He, his nutcracker. arm falling off he literally introduces himself he says I'm nutcracker that's crazy dude okay gay like sure 
I'm Clara. Uh, I'm Nutcracker. You're Nutcracker? Like, dude, what's your name? And then he's like, he's like all ashamed of saying his name because that he, he's prince. He was cursed as prince. a prince. Like, girl. And he's like, I failed girl. my. I don't even, girl, I don't even know what I don't the know. fuck. It, all I, I don't know, know the plot of this, this. plot. This plot is so. It, the movie is like long to me, and it's like not even that long. Maybe okay, <laughs> maybe now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like maybe I should like fall asleep with it in the background sometimes because there's not really a plot going on. But no, 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 I can't because I'm thinking of the beginning because the beginning is so scary. But the mid where she's like on a swing with the fairies, that's I a love nice, these fairies. That's these fairies my fa- are way scene. better than the fairies in Fairytopia. Yeah, also. and also they're better than the ones in Fairytopia, sparkly. except for the ones, except for the ones when they're like a couple up close shots where they're like weirdly dark skinned. And it looks oh. like they just applied a weird filter on the white fairies, and it's like that's what? something that happens in every single Barbie movie. If yeah. you look in the background and the extras, that's another thing. There's never anybody who's not white. Yeah, there's never anybody who's not white as a main character, unless it's there was literally an Indian man in Nutcracker, Nutcracker. for some reason. Yeah. I think that probably is just from the original. In Barbie world, black people don't exist, and if they do, it looks it's they're literally just painted it looks over like a white person an, that they already animated. It literally looks like a white person in blackface. Like they all their black characters. Did that. I have a picture. I literally took a screenshot because I couldn't stand it anymore. Like I'll, I'll put it up on the video version, but like I couldn't believe it, Amber. It's weird. Like even the brats. Like look at brats. Like even the brats all look alike, mm-hmm. but they they but the black characters look, look black. black. Like they they animated them to look black, not just like the white mold. Old. Um, well, okay. If we're gonna be real, all brown, the, all the, the they took the, the white they girls look like the black, black people. Characters. And, mm-hmm. That's probably what it is. But that's like, exactly what I came to. That's for that's for another episode. That's for another but that's day. what it is. Um, I oh I said I said that while watching. I was like, this whole thing is probably like a dream and sleep paralysis, which would be horrifying. I mean, but if that's the case, then why does she wake up and then immediately meet Eric and, know and then him. he has has had shared history? Like it's like their dream was the same. either their dream I was don't the same like it. or e- either their dream was the same. Like, but why would their dream be the same? Why would he be the prince? So like, like why would he be the prince? I don't know. I don't like. I didn't like the ending because I was like, this doesn't make sense. Just for that exact reason of you like g- going debriefing, it's like why would? Where did you? I don't like. like it doesn't make any sense. Barbie Barbie fantasy never makes any sense. Even this is coming. No, from, fantasy is my favorite fucking genre. Fairytopia is all over the place. None, none, there are so many holes. None, there, it doesn't make any sense. The the rules of the world are weak. The villains are weak. Their motives are weak, mm-hmm. which is why the human villains are the best ones because they have crazy ass backstories. Yeah. And I understand why Preminger is like crazy, and I, uh, which we'll get to. But like they also the villains in the in the in the fairy tale ones like they don't or it like the fantasy ones they don't really have a reason for being as stuck as they are. And the ones in the human ones are actively plotting and are almost right. They almost got it right. They and then do. they have to break, make a run for it, but they almost yes. got it. They they actively made a a, a plan and they and executed and they it. Execu- it. That's the why the they're so scary. Ones are, it's like it's like why are you even just now attempting this, and why is your attempt so weak? Have their, their attempt is weak. Like what like, are you doing? Weak. Like the Rat King. I'm like, what have bro, you, been doing? you can't. You, you don't know how to organize a years? thing. Like and and it's like why are you even stuck in the bog lands? Yeah, uh, like for for Fairytopia. And also like it's like Mother Gothel and Rapunzel. She's like she just kind of leaves. Bar- Rapunzel there for long periods of time and she's and like then how makes does that, she escape? Makes like, that, it makes that horrible spell that traps herself in there. Like right. that was something that you could have prevented if you had any sense. She said anybody with a lying heart shall never leave the castle. As you know and that this like, girl hasn't lived enough to lie anyway. And she, and you have a lying heart but that's also the, the other the, the oversimplicity of the Barbie she's perfect. At Barbie as Jesus. Like, yeah. She's perfect. She's never lied. Right. She doesn't have a lying heart. Yeah. But Gothel she's evil. Yeah. She has a lying heart. Yeah. And it's always that black and white with right, Barbie. Right. Always. Barbie never makes a mistake, except mm. for in the Barbie Diaries. Yeah. But, like, she literally will do every... And if she makes a mistake, it's like, we forgive you, Barbie. It wasn't your fault. Of course, anybody would have made that mistake. But, no, it's because she's dumb and naive. This conversation is making me think... I took a, ver- a fairy tale class as... Well, that was the elective for English in, in sophomore year. Me too. Year. Me and too. I, My sophomore year, too. I feel like Barbie, even though we only the first few are, like, original fairy tales, I feel like all of these movies, even the ones that are set in the real world, are our fairy tales. And you could have a class on these yeah. and be like, what was oversimplified? Give me an essay on this one. Because I feel like the whole thing, the modern way to tell fairy tales is a little bit from the villain perspective, like Maleficent. Mm. Or like just seeing, like even Into the Woods. Yeah, Wicked. Even Into the Woods, like you're like, 
It's complex. This it's made woman more is miserable. Complex. You, you see why, right? Because the Barbie villains are just never like humanized. No, like they're, they're, it's just, and, and Barbie's not humanized. They're either. just villains, and she's then she's idolized, and they're and they're in the trash. And right. That's what we were just saying. N- neither one is humanizing. Exactly. I also I have this. So it's, note. Ali- so it's alienating. It's alienating. It's alienating. Mm-hmm. It's alienating. It's the word humanizing. Alien- it's, it's alienating. alienating. It's not humanizing. It's alienating. That's crazy. I have this note here that I just want to share. Uh, otherwise, I think that we're kind of done with Nutcracker. But I, I don't know why I said this. <laughs> no, you said this. It says, Amanda about the Nutcracker. He's like the dumbest person on Love Island, which is true. <laughs> Do you want to speak <laughs> on that a little bit? I don't know what I, she said that for, but I'm uh, like, yeah, I he have is. A, I have a note here. I was like, it's comical how much we hate Nutcracker. He literally says anything, and we're like, why would you do that? Shut up, oh, you dumbass fuck. Why are you so annoying? He was irritating us as hell. He was irritating us so bad, but I feel like it was because we were also watching Love Island games at the same time. Maybe. Yeah. It, or I had just been recently watching the most recent season of Love Island UK, and it's just like, he just like doesn't say smart things. He doesn't say anything useful, mm-hmm. but he says it as if he's so smart. Like, right, which is a which is what Ken does a lot. Yeah, Ken. There's a whole song in Princess of the Hopper of him but teaching her something. It's because it's because he's not saying anything that we find useful, but no. Barbie does. Bar- <laughs> Barbie's like, wow, he's really smart. He's just saying common sense. Like my he's girl. literally saying common sense, but they've dumbed Barbie down so much that she like literally like is so naive. She needs to get everything from everybody else. Yeah, it's like they made her Cinderella, even though we have other fairy tales to choose from. And also, we've like. We've seen nuanced Snow versions White, of Cinderella. Like yeah. we've seen a nuanced version of Cinderella. Like Ella Enchanted. I said this is the Snow White of Barbie movies. Nutcracker was. I thought Nutcracker was the worst, but there are actual, actually more movies where she is acting like useless. Absolutely. That was just the first one. We I saw. thought it was gonna get better. I I literally did. I was like, did I misremember, or or did I do I just not remember these, or or am I realizing something that had a profound effect on me as a person socialized as a girl and like somebody who I'd already idolized blonde yeah. girls like yeah. already idolized blonde girls and like having Barbie as the standard did not help my Hannah Montana phase did not help my uh, being surrounded by white girls in the south p- period we of my life we were stuck we were stuck I was like why why wouldn't I want to be a thin white blonde girl everybody that they're showing me is is yeah like Hillary Duff, Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus, Ashley Tisdale, Ashley Tisdale, Ali like, and AJ, Ali and AJ. Like which other, which blonde girl are you gonna throw at me next? Like what other blonde girl can you throw at me next? Mm-hmm. Like it's it's just all all like Taylor like, Swift. She is supreme. Like sh- like this is supreme. This is yeah. what this Britney is. Britney Spears. Did you say Britney Spears? Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, this is what it is. And it's like who's the next in the Christina long line Aguilera. of blonde girls? Like, yeah. Even even if they're like a different personality. They are still blonde, and it's just showing like be blonde with oomph. Be, be blonde and 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 don't make life too hard for men, and they'll love you and cater to you and lo- and and cherish Bernie you. Britney Spears isn't even blonde, and it's like so many Miley Cyrus isn't even blonde. Yeah, so many of these blonde girls aren't even blonde. Like yeah. literally, the girls in my grade. It was literally as if, like, overnight, like, all the brunettes... I remember the summer that all the brunettes in my grade turned to blonde. Ashley Disney was on Because blonde. all the people were finally allowed to dye their hair from mm-hmm. their mom. And it was, like, yeah. when we were 11. And I was like, I don't remember there being this many blonde girls in my grade. That's crazy. Um, What's going on? And it yeah. would even just be, like... It would start as, like, little bitty highlights. highlights. But as they get less blonde as they get older, because girls that are, like, blonde when they're... A lot of white girls are blonde when they're born, and then they start having, like, dirty blonde hair or, like, even darker hair mm. as they get older. And they're like, oh, my God. You're, and, and and then their parents will be like, your hair was so pretty when you were Uh-oh. little. Your hair was so pretty. You were a... Th- uh, what's it called? A toe head? Yeah. You were a toe head. You were so pretty when... Uh, that beautiful blonde hair. Where did it go? Where did your yeah, blonde hair go? That's and the, it's like... That's the good hair Oh, my God. Like, yeah. let her be... Dirty Whatever blonde. Her hair is. Let her be light brown. Let it grow out of her head. Oh my god! Like let it grow out of her head. Come like, on. Let her roots. Let her show. Let her roots out. Leave that girl alone. Like I was Quit like, what is happening to the bl- to the white girls in my grade? Yeah. The brunettes. There was a point in seventh grade where I thought like hair straightener fried hair yeah was the look mm-hmm. because that's who I was around all of the girls in my grade had straightener fried hair yep and I'm like this isn't the look it like is there's it? no way Though, for this to be the look it was like, it was crazy no 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 but I'm talking like compared to like 
how having st- stick straight hair in Hollywood was the look. Yeah. I thought what these 11 year old girls were doing to their hair, which was burning it to the crisp where it was barely moving, I thought that was the look. Because everyone had it. Because it wasn't even they like. They were trying to be that. It was, and it wasn't even like, oh my God, that's so cool. It's like, that's that. That's, that's it. Yeah. That's what, that, that's what it is. It's, it's like, this is the look. Do it or die. Yeah, right. And and Barbie contributed so literally so much and like subconsciously, I think, in the same ways that like patriarchy in real life tells women to shut up and be pretty. Mm-hmm. Like Barbie was also doing that because Barbie was shutting up and being pretty. Yeah. Um, and really nice. One of the only things I said about Rapunzel was these don't get good until Princess and the Popper, I fear. <sighs> And I didn't know that that was just the one good one in the batch that we were about to go through and it was about to be hell. I said, I would hate if Barbie told me these long ass stories. I'd be like, girl, shut up and can we paint? Mm -hmm. I said, okay, this one I said, the dragon is cute, but is annoying as hell because she is cute when she doesn't speak. I said, why are all the animals purple? Ugly ass movie. Yes. Not the per those that don't didn't have anything to do with each other. Well, yeah, I know. The <laughs> prince. Oh, I said the prince never looks like the Ken doll. Me going off again. And then I said, oh, I said, I said again. IDK, who the male lead is, but it is not Ken. I was so I was so her. upset. But then I said, yeah. for the tagline of this movie would be this Barbie is dumb because <laughs> they were using her as a device to explain obvious plot. Like the characters were explaining things in such description. And this is where I'm like, maybe it's because it's a child's film. Like maybe we can yeah. pull that. Yeah. Childhood. But you can like, give they, her some points. We can give her some points there. But they were describing things in such weird. And she's like, "Ah, oh, really? Well, how do we get back with the paintbrush? They just told you, you just, how to get there with. You just used it. What are you talking you, about? You just used it's like it. Like fucking watching Dora. I said, <laughs> this Barbie is dumb. I said, Barbie's characters are always so annoyingly da- goddamn nice. Like even to her oppressors, it's like, girl, do something. Yes, dumbest girl in the world award. Come Bimbo on. nation for real. If you want to look at an actual bimbo, look at Barbie, Barbie. the actress. Watch, Watch Barbie any Barbie blank. animated. Watch Barbie in blank. Oh, I don't have money for Juan Lane. Oh, oh, we talk about Disney Channel acting, but I feel like there's also Barbie acting. Like, ugh! Or like, oh. I'm thinking, ugh! I'm thinking of faces and like movements. I'm going like, sorry for the listeners, but I'm like, I'm like. Like. Like, like Barbie doing ballet with the limpest wrists ever. Her laughing at something that Ken did. She goes, you gotta look at me. <laughs> Stop. Barbie thinking. <laughs> Barbie kind of being a little upset. I can't even say that with strength. She literally doesn't even be upset. She doesn't even be upset. No. You can't. Whatever. Because anger would be unladylike. Yeah. Oops. Except for in Mariposa, where she does get fucking angry. It was so crazy. You mean Magic of the pe- Magic of the Pegasus? Magic of the Pegasus. I always get it. It's just too much. Like so, I said in Swan, like ugliest Ken so far. The Kens keep getting uglier. I I Swan, like I said, man is not Ken once again. <laughs> I said, why do all the elves look like children in this? Because they are playing adults. They, they I, are playing. You cannot. I'm sorry. I were, understand that they are adults and they're supposed to be elves. But you cannot use your animation that you use for children with adult elves. I think what it is is like we were really supposed to. This is this is just me pulling this out of my ass. I think this is what it is. We we were really supposed to look at this movie as them casting a play. And so for the play, they casted their Kelly dolls. I understand that entirely, and I would be so fine with it, except for they make adult jokes. I agree the, with that. The, the snake, the, what, the, the skunk. The porcupine The or porcupine and the, the skunk. skunk are married. Mm-hmm. And they make We're sexual innuendo. Yeah. And they're ch- in the bodies of children. Yeah. And also, how problematic is it that we're likening little people to, to children? children? They don't look the same. Oh. They don't look the same. No, they Little don't. people who are adults are adults. They're not children. Right. Oh my goodness. That's, I I, I that's just couldn't right. I couldn't get all off of this. I said Odile is an icon Odette? and a legend. Odile. Who which one not? Daddy! Oh. Daddy, Daddy wait! Daddy, wait! <laughs> Daddy, wait! <laughs> Daddy! Wait, what did she say? She said something else crazy. She doesn't give a fuck. She's so crazy. She doesn't give a fuck and about I, being the she... most annoying girl in the world. Daddy! Like I <laughs> she's she is so obnoxious, but she's like she doesn't give a fuck. No, no, she will literally interrupt her dad trying to take over the world in a very important like to he say could, something to, to to complain. Yeah, daddy, 
they're like, like, what's up, girl? And he and he does. He abandons whatever he's doing for her. They're like, what would happen if Ozai and Azula traveled together? If, if Ozai, I think Ozai would leave Azula high and dry if she called his name. No, no, no. Listen to me. I'm talking if she was gr- raised and socialized with her father as being the favorite one as she was, but like in a way where it was like, you will stand beside me as I go rule the world because yeah. it's like a completely different story. Yeah. That's what, it would, what, and I think that when he was like, Azula, silence yourself. I think that was one of the first times he's said something like that to her. Really? Yeah, I think that that's the first time she, he, like, one of the first time he's, like, scolded her because she was embarrassed. Yeah, she was like, what? She's usually like, why are you talking to me like Zuko? Right, right. Because, yeah. I do think that when we're like she, this, I, aren't we? I do think that she would, because of that, realize quickly that he would leave her high and dry. Mm-hmm. Like, he doesn't actually love her. Whereas uh, Rothbar, I think, does love Odile and would drop everything for her as he does multiple times. Yeah, he's like, okay, movie. fucking come on! And again, <laughs> let's go! They're more interesting yeah. than, than Barbie's character yeah. and than Ken's character. Like, they're way more... In- and also, there's always... There's sometimes this, like, benevolent queen fairy figure yes. in some of them. Yes. And she's also useless. She's useless. She's supposed to be all-powerful and she's useless. She's like, like you have I'm, to go through the she's woods. She's like, it has to be you. You have to find the, the special fairy. Find it in Ruby, the Ruby, or else we'll all perish. And it's like, and why then, couldn't you do anything? You can float. If you Barbie, go get it. If Barbie, who can't do anything, can do can it. Do it why, why can't you do why it? Why can't you do go it? Go get it. You can float. Go, like, go literally get go it. get it's it. It's always something where it's like, Barbie's the chosen one, but it's literally like, why? Yeah. Like, why? Because she's pretty. I think that Rothbard's nose is not right. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, I think too. it's extremely anti-Semitic. I think so, too. I don't know why they did that. They should be in the most shame. <laughs> It's it's you could almost get away with the fact that they're like they both turn into birds because it's like Swan Lake, but, but it looks it's like absurd. an anti-Semitic caricature. It's absurd. Like it's, actually, it's, it's like a caricature. It's it's in the same way that the Gross Sisters are not, not right. right. <laughs> the Gross Sisters are not right. They, they are had not no right goddamn business making them blue. I was literally just getting ready for bed the other night, and I was like. Thinking to myself, the gross sisters were not right. Like, I remember when I got cornrows and I thought they were going to be like free falling, like mm-hmm. where I could put beads in them and my hair could jiggle. And instead, the woman cornrowed them straight back. Yeah. And I cried for days because I thought I looked like Lil Romeo and the gross sisters. Same. And I hated looking masculine mm-hmm. in any way. And mm-hmm. uh, I, and the gross sisters were like masculinized mm-hmm. because the blacker you are, the more masculine you are, mm-hmm. c- according to society. Mm-hmm. And I just, w- but yeah. Mm-hmm. That wasn't right. Mm-hmm. That wasn't right. No. And they also all just casually know ballet. Ballet is not a thing in this movie. And they all know ballet, including Ken. Yeah. Ken just starts dancing with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know it's a ballet, but like in the movie, they don't make it clear. No, 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 no. I do think that the Ken in this one was the ugliest. However, I think he was... Um, Is it still Swan Lake? Swan Lake, yeah. Okay. I, I, I think he was the one that was the most believable love interest because he was obsessed with her. He kept coming back into that enchanted forest being like, Where is please, she? I'm de- begging you to come to my ball. <laughs> like, And she's like, I can't, I'm a swan. <laughs> and he's like, I'm begging you to come to my ball. Like, and, <laughs> and she was like, right. fine, I will. Right, right. Him, I'll come to your ball. Uh, him, Princess and the Popper, and Island Princess did have Kens that wanted her. Yeah. They yeah. really wanted especially, her. Especially, especially Princess and the Pauper. Yeah. Um, you already said it, but like Kelly doesn't want to race and she tells her a story about a swan. Like, it just doesn't make it's any like, it doesn't it add doesn't up. Make, no. It's like, shut the fuck up and let me go to sleep. Like, I just told you I didn't want to race. Right. The next one is Barbie as Princess and the Popper. Yes. Which was one of the best ones. One of the best ones. Beautiful music. One of the ones that I feel like is the most memorable to people who don't really watch Barbie. Right. They're the most They're like, the most oh yeah, iconic. I remember watching that as a kid. Yeah, it's the most iconic. Uh, that's, if I were a girl like, like you. you. Wait, let me do that again. If I were a girl like you. Yeah, I just had to get that right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they. It has great music. It it has like good plot. It like is so you can quotable. follow the plot. My tooth, my tooth, my tooth. No, no, 
Um, wow, my toes. Also, that reminds me, there are That's characters. That's the poodle. If it, the, bo- the poodle with the gold tooth, if you didn't know. And Serafina's so cute. She's a little cat. She's so cute. She's so precious. And also, um, the my, a Cat's Meow song actually makes me cry. No, I sobbed. Like, you are more than that. You're a doggish cat. I think you can look at that Only in so many different ways. You can look at that from a gender spectrum. You could look at that from a race. You could look at that just being at other. Because I love that song so much. I love you the way you are, and that will never change. Like, I was literally crying. I've never sobbed as hard as I did on this viewing. Because I know you say that you cry to it when you listen to it in the car, but like, I... It's so precious. It's so precious. I, I don't even like, and again, I don't even like that she, that she they, says, that the pets are talking. This is what I said. There's the part that goes, Noah's Ark should have had a cat like you. And that makes me cry because it's like, you can look at it from if you grew up religious and it's like, Noah's Ark sh- should have included, or whatever, what the Bible, I mean, the Bible should have included gay people yeah. as gay people. Mm-hmm. And they should have been be included in the church as well. Like, Noah's Ark should have had diversity on it too. Yeah. Noah's Ark could have had a cat that barked. Yeah. Just because you're not, you're different from like what we're told is the norm doesn't mean what that we're you're told not that natural. can be actually saved. Like, Noah's Ark saved all the animals except for different animals. They're right. There's nothing unnatural about you. You. Right, There's nothing like like un- you are you the way yeah. you are. Oh yeah. my gosh! And she's singing that to the baby cat who barks, and, and he's it. looking so happy. He is smiling so big, and it's the, just the most precious thing in the world. I agree. I think it's cute. I just I don't. I really hate that they talk. Like the talking animals. He don't in this talk movie, in, this, in this scene, and that's why I. I know. I know. <laughs> the the talking animals in this movie are so annoying. Like I don't like how the the pood the poodle. Gets on my damn nerves. Oh, I forgot I to mention like the Arabe fucking s- like creepy as hell otter around oh, her yeah. neck in Who Rapunzel. Oh yeah, who kind of like Who's Nandor like, from Ooh. what we do in the shadows. Who's literally moaning and groaning the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like kind of like weird moaning. It's like, like what? Uh, are you? He's like. Ugh. He's like. I don't like that. <laughs> and, it's, and, and then also, at, at one like, time, he, he like s- slithered out of like someone's shirt. Was like, ugh. He <laughs> was like, what are you? What was <laughs> that? Like, what is going on? Who there was made one, this character? There was one that was so excessive that Dan Amber was like, what? Yeah, it was really weird. It was. So <laughs> <laughs> I was it like, was it was so like one of the last ones of the movie too, and I was like, okay, uh, uh-uh. uh, <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> Actually enough. So I just, I don't like, maybe it's because it's in the kids movie that I real, it made me realize the thing about not being owned, but it's just like, this is a child's movie and yeah. the, uh, the animals are acting more adult than Barbie is. Like if, I don't know how old Barbie's supposed to be, if she's supposed to be a teenager or in her twenties, but the uh, the animals act like they're older it's because, than her. It's because there's, they're essentially her, her the animal guardians. They're playing the animal guardians yeah. of the film where it's like, Barbie yeah. can't do it, but she has this animal that will get her out, which is still she, problematic. She doesn't see them as equals, though. Like because even in Rapunzel, when the dragon can talk to her, she doesn't see them as equals. Which is still problematic because you can also go back and say people who owned people mm-hmm. expected those people to help them out of dire situations. Exactly. Even though they treated them as people that they were owned. And they did. People. Uh, well, okay, this movie said brunettes need to go with brunettes, blondes need to go with blondes, mm-hmm. first of all. That's what they did. That's what they did. They said, Even oh, o- over oh, class. Over class. Over class. That man's blonde and he is the blonde ones. Blonde versus, versus brunette is, is more right. important than class. Yes. Always. Um, I hate Barbie and Ken together. They are. I, the, I like that the Barbie movie rip them apart because they do not go they together. do nothing for me they do nothing for me i don't want them together i don't ship them i want them far away from yeah. each other as possible they're the two most annoying beings on the planet mm-hmm. and when they get together they're quadruple annoying yes it, it's crazy yeah it's like almost like maybe see what iliana can bring for you in island princess i can't believe that homegirl said i'm just like you you're just like me and she said i'd rather be reading books in my library where when the other girl is in a lifetime of, of debt, debt and cannot it is an indentured servant like like read the room read the room like this is another reason even the blonde barbie is dumber than the brunette barbie right i'm like what are you trying to say to me about blondes yeah you are saying to me about blondes that they're dumb nice they get everybody that everything like they too want. dumb to be empathetic too dumb to be empathetic however they deserve everything in the world yeah and the and the brunettes are the poorer class, uglier, uh, never get the guy. Like, yeah. Like, that is what that, was, that movie is saying. But, 
we said the least magical Barbie movies are the best. Yes, they're the best. And they also have the mo- most music, which also... They are musicals. They're really good. They have they, such good music. They I don't have, know. You, can, you can really apply them to things as, the, as we've been conversing about this entire episode. Whereas with Fairytopia, you really can't because it's like, what do you mean she doesn't have her wings? Like, why? And then so why? If, she, if she takes off this necklace that you granted her at the end of the movie... Is she gonna lose her wings? Because that's kind of pointless too. And it, it, right, it's, and it's like if you can't, nothing's explained in these movies. No, nothing. It's like oh, if you don't do the winter ceremony correct, the spring ceremony correctly, which is in the second bar- fa- Fairytopia, but it might as well just be the same movie because it's long and boring and yeah, nothing happens. And just a, 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 a plot of a journey that's like why couldn't we take an easier way to fix this? They're literally like if you don't do the spring ceremony right with this petal, the petal will shrivel up and we'll have we'll have winter for 10 years. Yeah, and it's why? Like, why? 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 Why do you have a and ceremony that you do every year that if you don't get it right, you'll have, have winter, winter for, for 10, 10 years. years? And have you been, and so Amanda was like, maybe it's an inter- eternal spring, which is an answer, but it's like, shouldn't you guys have all of the seasons? If yeah. you're fairies and natural and everything and you're in nature and everything. But then on top of that, it's like, we were talking about the villain backstory. Laverna is like banned to the bog lands, <laughs> but her whole aesthetic looks like she enjoys being there. <laughs> And so it's like, (laughs) why is she trying to seek revenge on her sister to overtake Fairytopia when she doesn't even like necessarily want to change it? So I'm just like, what? What does she want? What her her desires are a story. What what does she what does she want? And how come she's so much again? Why is she so much more damn powerful than the Enchantress, her twin sister? Yeah. And where did these fungi come from? And why are they following her? How did she get banned there if it looks like she likes it there? She's literally dressed like she likes it there. She's dressed like she likes it there. There's things coming up. It's not like she was banned there and then started looking like that. (laughs) To my understanding, unless I'm confused, to my understanding, this is what she's always looked like as she's raised. And it's like... I would make it would make more sense if they ha- gave her like a little community over there that she was ruling and she was like we want <laughs> we want to make all of Fairytopia look this like this but no she just wants to poison all of Fairytopia right. even though she can fly too she and she looks like she is happy at home she doesn't have any allies like she, she has no fairies that are allies she's only hanging out with the fun guy so I'm like what's your end goal here do you need do you want friends I don't know it's yeah just, do you want there's, friends there's or? No, nothing is thought through and 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 Alina never does anything like she never thinks of something if she does it's very very rare like like she gets everything handed to her everything yeah. she's presented to her and she's like and th- and then sometimes she's just magically like wait she'll go through a trial and she'll be like wait a minute that's are Laverna. you are you what's that what's the fa- what's the snail's name whatever there's the, a the, snail the, 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 in mermaidia the time traveling or whatever the one that's supposed to i'm gonna tell treat all of the fairytopia movies as the same because i don't fucking remember how, what's the difference it's the, like all the one thing the it's passenger the um yeah she's like the, the snail opens up her shell and then the and then there's like a fairy inside and she's like oh i need to ask you something the oracle i need to ask you something and she's like he 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 blah 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 riddle 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 and barbie's like i know the oracle is the snail yeah, like, aren't you? And she's like, yes, I am. And then she tells her the answer, and then it's so easy. I don't, yeah. It's like, there are what? like little moments where it's like, okay, she's going to figure it out now. But the whole other movie, she's conf- she's useless. And then I also want to touch on with Barbie, Fairytopia, Mermaidia, and Magic of the Rainbow. I don't like the way she treats Bibble. She, no. She, she, she forgets that Bibble is a, it's a small puff ball. He's tiny. Um, he when can't you be left are on his own, literally in the depths of the ocean, and with a tail that you've been granted by a necklace, and small Bibble is under there with just some like breathing on kelp with his tiny little feet and wings. There's danger in the ocean. You better have him. Hold on to him. He and I don't like how that he's only got his tiny little hands on her, her shoulder as support, <laughs> and she and she's not she doesn't have him or anything. I'm like she you could easily be, easily be separated. No. He's so small. She also like talks down to him. Like he'll say something that he really feels with his whole heart like and she's, and she's like, like bibble it's like bibble just told you something bibble has something to say bibble just made a fucking point people said we shouldn't do that because that seems dangerous and you said oh, bibble and then also in that one scene when she threw <laughs> that they were like playing couch and she threw that thing at bibble and he went flying and she was like oh are, are you okay, okay? 
No, Barbie. No, Alina. Her also her voice is so high pitched in Fairy Tonya. It's giving those. I was like, is that Kelly Sheridan or is yeah, it not? It which is I, it's her like because she's like a tiny fairy. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I just don't like the way she treats Bibble. It's giving people who treat their cats crazily. Right. No. It's giving people who are like, oh, like and I give hamsters. my I give my cat a good home so I can treat her any way that she wants and I can annoy her all the time. Yeah. And it's like, like I'm like, don't rub your cat the wrong way. Don't dress them in clothes because they hate it. And make sure. It that makes them okay. off balance. Make sure, make they, sure they, they're okay. They feel safe. Like I don't give your cat anxiety. Are you insane? Like why would you give an animal anxiety? They they don't they can't do it. They don't deserve about. that. But that is literally what Alina does to Bibble. And I know he can talk and that she can understand him. But which also again, I'm like, is he mm. her pet? Like I don't know. It just it it just rubs right. me the wrong way. Like, are you friends? He has complex thought and he has opinions and he says them, but he has to go wherever Alina goes. Yeah, because she is so fucking stupid. Yeah, like there was something really really. She dumb was like, that you she can't did. stay here, Bibble. Oh, she turned fucking Laverna back into herself from the a frog. The dumbest thing in the world. Because the frog was that like, looked exactly like Laverna. That looked exactly like Laverna. She literally turned her back into a, a fairy, and I was like, can you be dumber? That's literally like, like Barbie only makes things go wrong. But also, let's, okay, even furthermore, this is just on the writing because that dumbass man her, who was supposed to be like her professor or whatever, when she went back and said, I turned Laverna into, back into herself, he yeah. said, show me the bog lands instead of show me Laverna. <laughs> you have this thing that you that sh can show you everything and you weren't specific about what you needed to see? Like you said, show me the bog lands, not Laverna. I feel like turning this into a musical would have made everything more clearer and more entertaining. Like, Probably. It like, would have moved the story Along move the story along. Every single song in Princess and the Popper and Island Princess move the story along. Even the rat song mm. in Island Princess. Cheese, cheese. Like we, you got, cheese. we got rats singing about cheese, and it moves the plot forward. And I can't figure out what fucking Fairy Topia is even about. Mm -hmm. The Fairy Topia movies also they're so short. Ba nothing, barely anything happens. Where, where where you're having complex class discussion. Yes. In Princess and the Popper. Right. And honestly, Island Princess. And Fairy uh, what, Nothing. What's happening? Right. Like, we, Magic of Pegasus is frozen, first of all. Yes, like, it's she literally frozen. goes on a journey with a, a guy who's acting like an asshole, and he is acting like an asshole. And then Barbie, literally, when she, ever, when she gets... So the, the movie, for people that don't know what it's about, because it's honestly so obscure, and I had never seen it, it's a, a, a wizard has turned Barbie's sister, sister into, into a Pegasus. A Pegasus like years ago because she wouldn't marry him and now so now she he's back because she's 18 and he wants to marry her and so she goes on a Just journey crazy. with her sister who's a pegasus yeah. to like get a magic staff to like beat Defeat him. him and as soon as she gets the magic staff she's like I want to destroy him yeah and, and that's I'm like, the angriest I've we've seen Barbie I've never seen Barbie this man she like, had she this, had real emotion. vengeful. She's so vengeful, and I thought I did think it was interesting, but I thought the movie was terrible and boring. It was she had she was very vengeful because it was her sister. Um, right. Also, it's frozen because there's a redheaded sister. It's there's like a lot of snow. also. Um, the baby polar bear in this is in love Weird. with Ken. Weirdly in love. Weirdly, with Ken. okay, yes, weirdly in love with Ken. Really annoying. Like could not stop making noises. <laughs> <laughs> like get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like every <laughs> single. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> and shut up! <laughs> Literally, like, stop being creepy to Ken. You're a baby polar and a bear. polar bear. You cannot have him. Okay, yeah, Magic of Pegasus was just interesting. It was just interesting to see Barbie in this light and also her Ken being, a, like, a, a brat, an actual full-on brat. It also reminded me of the 12 Dancing Princesses only because they were sisters in, like, a cold land, but I don't... I did not watch I didn't, uh, the 12 I Dancing can't, Princesses. I can't watch 12 Dancing Princesses. But it was Princesses. disorienting that all the princesses were just Barbie with different voice and hair. Like, that was scarring. Well, it was also interesting. Well, it was interesting that they weren't all the same age, though. Like, I was expecting them to be all the same age. Also, not this man age. impregnating the, a woman 12 times and then she's dead. Oh, that was crazy. Like, this man impregnated a woman 12 times and then she's the dead parent in yeah. this? Amber fell asleep. I had to it, fall asleep. I didn't pay attention. Like, I literally didn't look at the screen once after she fell asleep and because it, it was boring as fuck. Okay, Barbie, the Diaries. Barbie Diaries. This is, this was, this was Mattel's attempt at a 2000s film. This was giving a Freaky over. Friday, Sleepover, Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Uh, Mean Girls, kind of. Yeah, Mean Mean Girls. Mean Girls. Mean Girls. The plot was Mean it, Girls. It was definitely Mean Girls. Literally, the plot just was my mean luck. Girls. Just my luck. It was just my luck. It was all these things mixed with one because Bar a Cinderella story. This the premise is that Barbie is with her friends. 
Barbie, it's the, Barbie is it, with, with her, her friends, friends in a band. In a Bar- band, and and they they want to be a famous band, but they want to be pop. They want to have a great year at school. They want Barbie's be, wishes to be popular. Barbie wants to be popular and to be the newscaster at her school. So she she's wants to be already, with the hottest guy. Wants to be in a band. Wants to be in the hottest guy. Wants to be a newscaster. Like all these things. All these things that teen girls want in high school. But at, it was that too. Are, it was too much. It was too much. It was like every single thing every in single one. Trope. Like she wanted it all. And, but we were also supposed to like. This is the first one. This is also the only one that we so, watched so that is not happening. the same animation as the other. So she does not look like a doll. It's just like a different type of it's animation. Literally a, it's literally a rom com. And and she's in the real world. This yeah. is the only one where Barbie's playing a teenage girl in the real world going to high school. And she is a fucking bitch. She's like. A- She's like main character selfish. Like she's like Disney Channel she star t- sitcom selfish. Like all she does all of the wrong things just for it to be a lesson to whoever's watching it. She like starts, she treats her friends crazy. She starts spying on the popular girls to make like a like to write an article about them. Yeah. And it's, her friends also are Yasmin. Like, yeah, Star and Star and Yasmin and Star. Uh, uh, her friends are like, you ditch us for the popular girls. Barbie's like, no, I'm just making an article about I'm them. I'm just doing. I'm just I'm doing just research. Doing That's research. Mean girls. I'm doing journalism. Yeah. And then she like betrays the popular girls which is a kind of, she does like a kind of dick move by like outing their private conversation. It's actually Mean Girls. It literally is Mean Girls but at the same time there's a battle of the bands and her best friend is mm-hmm. in love with her but she's in love with the popular girl's boyfriend. And then there, she, there, she gets this sp- magical locket. A diary. Like yeah she gets a magical diary. A diary that with everything the, that with she writes she comes true. Mm-hmm. So it's like she, all her dreams are coming true but her friends are like you are being a an brat. Asshole. Like you're oh, being yeah. an asshole to us you're not coming to band practice even though you you entered you us into the into, battle. Yes, of yes, right. Like it's it, it's a it's mo- it's the strangest movie. But Sky Sweetnam sings in it, and we love Sky Sky Sweetnam. Also, Ken's not in it. The man, the name's the man's name is Kev. Now hold on a minute. Now what I will say is this may be the only movie I did see a Ken in, and Todd was Ken. No, he wasn't. I don't think so. I really don't feel like hot. he, he was just blonde. He was just blonde. But I was like, why is his name Todd and why is his name Kev? Like, I, what, also Kevin Todd is a was creep. an asshole. Kevin was a creep. Cre- he made he kept creepy on jokes. saying weird things. He's like, hey, I'll get in on this girl hug. Yeah, Ha-ha, lucky me. And, and he's we're like, supposed filming, to sympathize with him. He's like and filming fruit cheerleaders. Fruit yeah, right. K hey, Kev, why were you filming? filming also, like practice? Barbie is acting like such a loser. She's so passive in this movie, and the passivity that we've been hating throughout all of these movies heightens in this one. Heightens because it shows her as like. World in high the high school. Yep, in the real world, she is a loser. Yeah. She literally never sticks up for herself against the popular girl who is such a bitch. Mm-hmm. She's so weak. She doesn't have any of her own opinions. Like the Barbie to celebrating mediocre whiteness pipe pipeline is like never been clearer in this movie. And it's also giving Lizzie McGuire. It's giving yes, it's giving I can't do anything. Yeah. Get up, get it up, get it together. You it's, have your friends. It's literally giving I can't do anything. I'm selfish and everything good happens to me. Yeah. Like Lizzie McGuire is such a good example. Like that's every like what everything happens. was going everything in Lizzie's life is going perfectly fine. You have your friends, you have like one of your best friends is in love with you. Right. And you are desired by all. Everyone thinks you're cute and fun. Right. So you literally like are having like a secret relationship with a hot Italian pop star and then you become the hot it, Italian the, pop, pop star. star. And you just perform on stage. You're okay. You're okay, girl. You're okay. Don't act like you can't do nothing. They give Bibble a partner in Magic of the Rainbow, and I said this is gay Bibble erasure because Bibble is gay. Bibble is gay. Bibble is in love with another with a female version of him that's yeah. just pink and like literally look. It's a, it's the same animation. It's but like, maybe we can just say both of the puffballs were non-binary. Maybe they were, you know, but they were very male and female coded. Yeah, and that's just Barbie's uh, way of you life. know way of life. Either way, Bibble was adorable. Um, should we get into the very best one? The very best one and the one we have seen multiple times a year, every year since it has come out. Barbie, Barbie as, as an island, island princess. princess. Now this movie, the premise is that Barbie was thrown off a ship when she was 12 years old. She washed ashore on an island. And was Lost raised. her memory and was raised by a red panda. A peacock. Named Soggy. Saji. Saji. And a, a peacock, peacock named, named Azul, Azul. Who thinks he's royalty. Who thinks he is a prince. And a giant baby elephant. Named Tika. With big old blue eyes and big, eyelashes. Huge. Very odd. And then looking. one day. One day Antonio. Antonio washes Rolls up as a colonizer. Colonizing. Like, what can we find here? Just one day he was colonizing. What type of treasures he, can we come take from this island that I have never seen and or know com- if, if anyone inhabits it? He rolls into a swamp and he's about to be eaten by alligators and crocodiles. Barbie, crocodiles. And, and uh, Roe 
swings in and starts talking to the crocodiles and says, get out of here. Don't eat them. Don't. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Don't eat them. She actually she's, talks to animals. And that's what Antonio says. And he's says. like, oh my Is she God. talking to the crocodiles? Is she talking to the crocodiles? How did you communicate with them? He's so fascinated with her, thinks she's so beautiful and takes her home. Mm -hmm. And then she doesn't feel like she fits in and you know so if you don't know anything but we're going to be talking about it and i hope that it makes you want to watch this movie because it's one of the best movies the music is broadway level yeah the music is broadway the level the music are, are is beautiful the it tells the stories it's there's they've got great duets they have like full songs with like lyrics that are moving the story along like if you listen to it it will move the it, it, it's you understand explaining. what's going on in a very like succinct but beautiful way like yes. literally watching all those Ass you're movies, feeling the passion gave me such a better appreciation for this movie like i was like this is a I pretty like, good one this is my barbie movie i was like why do we watch this one so much more and why don't i have any why don't i why have i never seen all of these again it because it stuck with us this stuck with us and the other ones didn't every i don't know why they they fumbled the bag so hard every barbie movie should be a musical i even think barbie the movie should have been a musical yeah like the dancing scene I, and ken has two songs like yeah. why, why can, does ken have why two does songs? ken have two songs and barbie doesn't have any songs and it's not a musical like i just think that that was a flop yeah the first line of this movie is what a night what, what a, a storm. storm and i say it all the time me too Anytime anyone says what a night. Okay, there was one like that hurricane that we had in July I said what a what night, a night what, what a storm. storm. I was like, don't nobody know what I'm talking about. It's literally I do. The music is so good, the overture, but Tika is, is the most annoying baby animal. She is of so all annoying. time. She is so loud I and grating. A raspberry! Like, stop. And she's like, You leave me. You can't leave you gonna me. leave me. She literally sabotages Rose love life mm -hmm. like she literally like steals a letter that what's his face left left where they're gonna get together and also this is a movie where where barbie is like I, while we love this movie the most important the most interesting character is the villain who's this like red-headed woman with with the hair up to the ceiling like, like literally high and she literally is like she has her whole plan one of the best songs is her song where she's talking about how she was scorned as a, her family was scorned by the king's family and now she's come back with a wrench to get her daughter and he put to her marry them, he put them on a son. pig farm and then she married a very wealthy man and then she said when i when, when i heard i that good king peter had a son i, I had, had a daughter, daughter right away yeah. and it's like with who yeah because she married an old king who died soon yeah, she, or she poisoned him he, we really can't tell she's like monday we were wed wednesday, wednesday he, he was, was dead. dead happily that put an end to us and so it's like she literally did scheme and scheme and scheme and she's telling her daughter that it doesn't matter that she's not in love with the king you're gonna marry him because we're gonna get back in this castle yeah and we're not gonna be with the pig yeah and i was saying to you last night when we were watching that when she fell into the pig pen at the end that's the first thing i thought of when i learned that pigs eat people if you didn't know this, they won't eat you if you're like just in there and like they won't attack you. But if a farmer like passed out in his pig pen like while feeding them and like nobody was there, he was alone and like they ate him because he passed out. I didn't realize that they eat people, but that's what I thought when she like falls into the pig pen at the end and she's like, not anything but the, the pigs. <laughs> oh my God. That's she literally, insane. this woman is so funny. She, her, her daughter says, that she wants to, to marry for love because of the books she's read about romance. And he says, you should stop reading those books, filling, filling your head with thoughts. <laughs> like, girl, she literally said that. She's over Like, it. that is her, we can't not talk about Preminger. Preminger and this woman, what's her name? Antonia. Uh, Antonia. No, Amanda, the boy's name is Antonio. Her name is not Antonia. It's Queen Ariana. Uh, yeah, Ariana. Ariana and Preminger, I feel like, are very, very similar people in that they're, like, so over the top. They're literally both, like, kind of dressed, like, in drag. Mm -hmm. They're all costumes. And, like... They move around very dramatically. Oh! Yeah. Like, their songs, like, his song is one of the best songs I've ever heard, and mm -hmm. so is hers. Like, Island Princess and Prince the Popper have amazing, They amazing, lay out their plans. Amazing music. And, like, the harmonies... Yeah. It, uh, uh. In both, they both have great duets. They both have great villain backstories. Like they, like just no other, no other Barbie movies tell us the villain's motivation. They just wait until the end when it's like when it's all said and done. This is what was going on. Exactly. I just, I just think that every Barbie movie should have been a musical because the things that worked in these two 
are that the villain is interesting and I feel like the villain is powering the story. Mm -hmm. Like the like Ariana's plans literally are what happens in the story. Yeah. Preminger's plan to kidnap her is what happens in the story. Like Ariana sending three rats to go poison all the animals on the island, to which is what she her. does to blame the island girl for being like the one bringing disease, which like, what is this movie saying about col colonialism? Right. It's actually, this movie is really crazy. It's, it's a little wild. It's romanticizing colonialism, but she's white. So it's like, it's, Oh, we found a white person on an island. Yeah. Like they're actually horrified by her, but she is pretty. Yeah. And white. And she also al always has eyeshadow on and lipstick, yeah. even though she's been on an island she, for years yeah this bitch would have been non-verbal mm -hmm. i'm sorry she would not be talking to people no she can talk she's ta she's been talking to animals her entire life her whole life it would be like tarzan it would be like tarzan but so get real of course they don't want barbie to act like tarzan yeah they would never want her to be she's too feminine and pretty and yeah they would never kind. have her hair down like her like frowning at the people from the side like they would never have that no that would be too unladylike yeah but it would be like tarzan and also my man's just like he he's, he's like come back with us he's like come you don't know him at all and you're just gonna get on his boat right like, what it was just very odd it was just very odd he this movie while we when we went back and watched it with all the barbie movies we did realize this movie was done better than others <laughs> but i love it too just because i can see the opening scene the blue i can hear the music i did i did watch this movie so much like this is one of my comfort films where i would just put it on yeah and just like have it on in I the mean, background the like it makes me feel so comfortable and cozy the music and the the settings and also the animals like the animals in this movie are really funny mm -hmm. and i i like it because they're not pets yeah the reason that i the reason i think that they're it just works characters. is because the monkey is a pet and it actually might be saying something about colonialism yeah it's like the animal like ro sees her animals as equals and her friends mm -hmm. and the palace people see animals as their pets yeah even when the peacock walked in she said you brought home a pet for me and i was like this is a whole human i don't know what yeah you're talking about. but also it's like a little bit strange because it's like okay so are you saying that indigenous people are animals like it's kind of like the indigenous people are the animals mm -hmm. in that scenario so yes. like it's like barbie a white person with all her animals treats them as equals yeah well that's what i said i was like if you made this about people and not there were no animals in this it would be like as if barbie fell off a like british ship and ended up on on an island and yeah. was befriended by or like was raised by whoever was on that island mm -hmm. and then a white british man were they british i like I half of them were British. I don't know. That this man comes on. They're probably honestly in the sailing for Caribbean, sailing for treasures, and sees a white girl amongst whatever natives, whatever there. natives they are there, whatever indigenous people or black people are there, and is like, I know you don't belong here. Come with me. Bring three friends. Right. That's exactly. what it is. Exactly. Because that's how they treat them. Yes. Like they're like, oh, like Barbie can talk to them. It would be the same if she was raised by the indigenous group on there she would be able to speak their language exactly. and they wouldn't be able to and yeah, she would be like, the one translating they would be like she's so well traveled she can speak to the those that we don't deem the need to speak to it does it's honestly a very bad metaphor and like in very <laughs> poor taste yeah it is and it's interesting because I I had that epiphany while I was watching Island Princess. Like I was watching Island Princess and I was like, this is why I don't like talking animals as pets mm -hmm. because they're supposed to supposed to be equal, but they're acting like pets and like they're a uh, lower class yeah. than the other Barbie characters, even though they have just as complex thought. Right. Um, yeah. Island Princess is a very it's a very like strange movie, but it's got and it's very campy. It's campy. And the, That's and what and I, was, the music, I was just about to say, but it's very campy. The music is so good. It's iffy, like uh, along with all the other Barbie movies, just because like we like it and we like the music like it's still like Ro didn't Ro do doesn't much. do anything she except like get the sunset herb the sunset feel, herb yeah she fe just feels insecure the whole movie the sunset herb she's like my name's a she's like but 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 Luciana after this man has been like I don't want Luciana I want you maybe for the third time and is now like you Luciana's giving us you, she's Luciana. like but Luciana she said he said has given us her blessing. Girl, if you don't stop thinking about Luciana. She said, you should be with Luciana. I shouldn't be here. I have to. This was a mistake. Like Ooh. all the like tropey like. You were just denying everybody happiness. I'm just little. Luciana Barbie. doesn't want him. He doesn't want her. No. And now you're just denying him what he does and want. And she does the same in Princess the Popper. They're very similar. It's like it's like a marriage, like an arranged marriage that like a princess or prince don't want to do. It ends in a wedding where the villain like runs away after yeah. they've been caught. And then like the horse that, that, that we've been talking to in the movie goes after like helps, helps and yeah. then someone's thrown over a bridge yep. and then they they end up happily married yes. like it ends in a wedding and a, and a song such I, I just guess like barbie as a whole is just like so heteronormative and mm -hmm.
whether it's like it's so heteronormative that it's gay though say more people <laughs> a lot of gay people like it well uh, yeah i think <laughs> a lot of gay people like a lot of things i think it's just so bright that it's like you can't look away the aesthetics the aesthetics of barbie movies are very gay. Mm -hmm. They use the bisexual colors. Mm -hmm. Like the male characters, don't... the male characters, the male animals are still really glittery and pretty. Right. That's like everything's I mean pretty and glittery. Like, like bib everything bibble. is. Like, like bibble. Uh, like uh, it's, it's it's very. All of it is very heteronormative, but it is so like accidentally. It's gay. so hyper femme that it's like a man being <laughs> in here is gay. A man being up in here is gay. Yeah, which I felt about the Barbie movie too. Like all the Kens being mm -hmm. in there, I was like, the, all these Kens are gay. Yeah, but they can also be into women because you know. Yeah. Bi, pan, I yeah, and I'm not saying that they can. I'm just saying it. It's so heteronormative that it's gay. Yeah, I also you can't, think that you can't make something so of a gender that it's exclusionary of another gender or else that's literally the definition of gay. You're all homo. Right. Like a like football. Like how men um care about the opinions of other men more than they care about women. Yes, it's like okay. Like football and and like uh, how it's okay wrestling. to smack an ass on the football field, yeah, any but tors, any, any it's form weird of, anywhere else. Any form of fighting is just an excuse to touch other men in an right. intimate way, right? Res wrestling without like being accused of but being that's gay. fine, yeah, and it's okay. It's fine. Like I mean, do whatever you want. Just understand that you don't have to be that strict in other spaces if you're that loose there, right? Like <laughs> I, I I I feel like the a lot of the animals are like qu kind of queer coded. Uh, obviously, the villains are because. The villains, yeah. are, villains, villains are always, are always like clear coded like, to a certain extent. And in a, in a bit of a homophobic way. A lot of the times. But like, I feel like Azul and Saji are her gay dads that raised her. And they're adorable. And like, they, they, they just fight all, all the time. Mm -hmm. And they're clearly gay. Like, Azul is like a gay man. Yes. So is, and, and so, so is Saji. Saji. They're like different stereotypes. Stereotypes of being gay. Yeah. They just pair people up all the time. It's like Kelly and Tommy and Barbie and Ken. And like, they'll pair the animals together. They almost like try to make the monkey and Saji seem like something. You like, think? I think that I, I thought they were just fighting. Growing up, I was like, are they head to head because they are like the components of each other in these different worlds? They could be. It would be. It would. It would have made more sense for her to have a monkey. Like I don't understand why she had an elephant. Like where did her? Where Where are her parents? I don't know where that elephant. Like came from. nobody. There also, was no elephant. Also, on the it would make more I, sense if she had a baby crocodile. I can't. Yeah, it would. I I can't believe or a dolphin that the prettiest. Also, I just don't like Barbie. I don't like her character design, but I love Barbie's mother's character design. Rose's yes. mother is the most beautiful Barbie I've ever seen in my life. Life at she the was end. pretty, and I don't know. She's just like beautiful, like beautiful. I would just say go watch Island Princess and enjoy it for the music, but also listen and Princess and the Popper and Princess and the Popper and honestly, all of them. If you want, if you have the time and want, it's pretty interesting to watch. If you grew up with them, it's pretty interesting to go back and watch. I bet it's. I bet it's been a while. I'm just reading notes that I that I might have missed. At the end of Princess the Popper, there's a song. Amber says is so high pitched that this song is for the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, why is it so high pitched? And he was like, this is for the dogs. Oh my god, what was it? Oh right, I remember. Oh, also, there's there. Kelly is not in Princess the Popper at all, but there is a blonde oh, right. Kelly and a brunette Kelly. At the wedding, when they have a, the double wedding, they literally finish oh, Princess yeah. Papa with a double wedding. Oh, right. Oh, double right. Blondes, and they're flower double girls. brunettes. And then their flower girls are blonde and brunette. And then their cats are blonde and brunette. And then oh they have God. children and they are blonde and brunette. The white girls must have a good time. Like, anybody who wants to do a double wedding, that must y'all might have a good time with that. Also, like, why didn't Preminger just marry her mom? He, like, Preminger had to, crazy. He, he went had all to marry the girl. Ways. And he's like... And why the mom you, was kind of like giggling at you. Like yeah, you really could have gotten you her. Just, you literally could have just proposed and like been done with it. But instead you got a blonde guy and a brunette guy to kidnap her and then act like, and then steal all the gold and then act you, like you were the gold guy from the beginning. He's like, so crazy. Like he really did it a roundabout way. He, and I'm sure that Ariana could have done something else too. He could have done something honestly, else. Honestly, because why did she think that she needed to get this this specific castle like I mean I know she grew like, up there yeah. and then she like got kicked off in, on pig farm and forgot but like I, I just don't understand like they there's flaws even though these two villains are the best villains there literally are she had flaws. three more tries with the Kellys like she could have gone and gotten three boys these movies are nonsense. If, nonsense. if you take anything away from this, watch Princess and the Popper and Island Princess and do not watch any of the others. Unless you really want to for a laugh and, in and a nostalgic laugh and in conclusion 
we have seen a lot of Barbie movies. Our favorite is Island. My favorite is Island Princess. I mean, I see my all the attributes Princess of too. Princess and the Popper, but I will stand by Island Princess forever. Yeah, I can't watch Princess and the Popper too much. Like, Neither can I. As, as soon as she's saying, "Yes, I'm a girl like you," it's it's over. Well, you go low, I go high. Yes, yes I am a girl like no. <laughs> <laughs> You go free high. to try crazy things. Free from endless I only use. Free to fly. Free to sing. And marry whom I choose. No, um, I just she's just like complaining about being like, wealthy. She's like, like she's like ying, ying, ying. I'm like so just marry him, bitch. Yeah, ying, ying, ying. marry like, him and then go have your hobbies. Ying, ying, ying. I we're gonna do my scene episodes and a, a my scene episode and a brats episode, which will probably be like I'm sorry. I know that I really hope you guys did enjoy this. I know that we set we analyzed a lot. Um, hope that you guys can agree, but also see that we love the show. But when it comes to my scene and brats, we're also gonna analyze a lot. But I feel like we're gonna have a lot more. Positive of things to say. No, that's what I exactly what I was about to say is Barbie is ranked number three out of those three. Yes. Like I cannot stand by any of the Barbie movies mm -mm. other than Island Princess and Pat Prince Popper. And even that it's like it's like it's, it's not for it's, Barbie. It's giving a it's very for the music. strange message. Yeah. You know, like uh, compared to my scene and Bratz, I feel like the my scene girls and the Bratz girls had more personality and more agency. They had a more grasp on like Barbie's tagline, which is "Be who you want to be." Right. Like they they represented that. Be more. who you want to be, and like they literally went after their goals. They went after their dreams. They were they spoke up. They they talked. They talked back. They talked back to the boys. They talked back to the boys, the mean girls, the adults, like they, anybody looking at them sideways. They were like, "What do you think this?" It is? It was a little bit of toxic positivity because they literally could do anything, but like at least they were the ones that were the masters Perpetuating of their it. own like destiny. Yes. Like. It, they they all they had montages showing them working for it. Like, they did have those montages. Barbie, at the end of the day, to me is useless. Yeah, the one that I grew up with, and I don't know if her image can be rehabilitated through the Barbie movie. <laughs> I'm gonna give it hope. I think if they do it in certain ways, I don't know how many more they got. I know they're doing a sequel, are they? I don't know I because assume. Greta Gerwig didn't say that she was doing one. She was like, "I'm not signed on for one, and I don't really want to do one." But you okay. know, they might get around it and do it. Yeah, but I just, I just think like, why don't we just have new things? Things. Yeah. Like, why don't we just have a new doll or like a new gender neutral something? Like a I new. I wonder what that a new what role it would take model to like, make a like an actual new role model. I wonder what that would take. Like what it would. Why be. don't we just have new role models? Period. Like several plural. ones. Don't put it in one person. Yeah, like right. one person does not represent every girl. Like, There's no way. There, they, there can. There's no way. Like, and you can make Barbie be a bunch of different occupations, but that's just like a white girl being a bunch of different occupations. Mm -hmm. So there's always going to be setbacks, which is also my scene and Bratz. I think the key difference to Barbie, my scene and Bratz, is that my scene and Bratz are ensemble pieces, and Barbie is one, one girl. person. That is true. So there's no main girl. It's like in they my did scene like and Barbie. They, I mean, my scene and Bratz. They extended it to the point where it was like this one brings this to the table this one brings this to the yeah. table like, not one person brings everything to the table they don't represent all girls yeah the, one person can't represent all girls and yeah. if it's gonna be the blonde like it's not gonna work yeah it's like Chloe doesn't represent all the brats mm -mm. like not by a long shot ne none of them do Barbie's not the most interesting my scene doll mm -mm. like you can like her the best but you could also like Madison the best you could yeah. also like Noli the best for whatever reason that you relate to them the best right. like there's just more room for relating you don't have to like find how you relate or act like you relate in, in to the just way one just girl. to relate, yeah. Which is also why I was like, oh, like, okay, I understand that my Mattel wants to make a live action Barbie movie, and I understand that they want to make it as feminist as possible, but I also was like, at the end of the day, like, this is still like a thin white blonde woman mm -hmm. who is representing all of feminism in this movie. Yeah. Like, not for all time and forever, but at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not going to relate to this as much. Growing up, I never watched Barbie because I related to her. No. No. <laughs> I watched it because it was there. <laughs> it was there and like she was it. Yeah. And with that, <laughs> have a happy new year, y'all. Why don't we, how about we end on a song? Now, wait, go one, two, three. Wait. One, two, uh, okay. Three. No, we can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do any, I need to take, ready? Na, 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 na. I, I need, need to know, know these answers. answers. I, I need, need to find my way. Seize my tomorrow. Learn my yesterday. I need to take.
take these chances. Let all my feelings show. Can't tell what's waiting. Still, I need to know. I need to know. Okay, we did it. <laughs> and that was Ro and Antonio. <laughs> on the way Antonio. to the castle. Follow us on um, everywhere at fangirl.central and follow us on Patreon at fangirl.central, um, patreon.com slash fangirlcentral. And as a as the last episode of the year, I want to thank everybody for tuning in sincerely from the bottom of our heart. My heart. <laughs> Um, thank you for being here with us since March or whenever you started tuning in, however many you've listened to or binge listened to or whatever. We love your support. We love the community um, and the validation in our craziness, yeah. our chaoticness. I honestly and like, our truth. I I want to I want to say yes. Thank you to every single person that has come to a live show, listened to this podcast, suggested this podcast to someone. Like I genuinely laughed with us, didn't cried with us. I don't know. I just I didn't foresee many people I don't know like I, I didn't see I didn't it going I didn't and I didn't know I don't know what I imagined this to be like but I didn't it's I been, couldn't oh. picture us here in December at the end of our first season and right. I'm just very excited for what's to come yes I'm excited in for what's the new to come year. I'm excited to rest and relax and come back fresh in the new year thank you everybody again for listening happy new year happy new year stay safe out there and as always for the last time of 2023 Keep, Keep it, it chaotic. chaotic. And chaotic it is. <laughs> <laughs>